Duraxolitinib is a new oral immunosuppressive medication, a JAK1 and JAK2 inhibitor, that was recently approved by the FDA for the treatment of severe alopecia areata in adults. Severe alopecia areata is commonly defined as the loss of terminal hair over 50% or more of the scalp. The recommended dosage for duraxolitinib is 8 mg twice daily. A recent clinical trial results focused on patients aged 18 to 65 years who had scalp hair loss of 50 or higher. After 24 weeks of treatment, nearly 30% of patients experienced a reduction in their SALT score to 20% or less. This number seems to increase after week 24, as presented at the 2024 meeting of the American Academy of Dermatology. More than 42% of patients expressed satisfaction with their hair following treatment. Duroxolitinib is contraindicated for patients who are CYP2C9 poor metabolizers or those taking inhibitors of this enzyme because of an increased risk of adverse effects. The most common side effects reported include headache, acne, nasopharyngitis, fatigue, weight gain, and skin and soft tissue infections. Like some other medications in this class, duroxolitinib may lead to lipid elevations, anemia, neutropenia, lymphopenia, or thrombocytopenia. The drug comes with an FDA black box warning, similar to other JAK1 inhibitors. The summary of product characteristics includes a list of recommended laboratory tests to conduct. It is the third medication approved for alopecia areata, following baricitinib and ritlicitinib. I look forward to seeing data on the long-term efficacy of duroxolitinib. With three kinase inhibitors now approved for alopecia areata, as the options for treating this condition continue to expand. We still lack treatments that have been investigated and approved for patients with scalp hair loss of less than 50%. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please consider giving this video a like.